All right, so basically what this thing does is I have a servo right here that is controlled by an Arduino there. So what this Arduino does is it reads impulses from this HID card reader that I got for 12 bucks. So just believe me, my card's in here. And I don't know if you heard that, but just by scanning it, I can lock and unlock the door. And I'll show you from the bottom view now. If I can get it in there without looking. There you go. So you can see I can lock and unlock the door with just my ID. And this is a school issued ID. Uh, we use the HID HID Human Interactive Device uh, scanners here, and that's why we use it. Also, little side note, I'm not editing because it's finals next week, and I'm just not ready to do that. But I wanted to document this before I take it down. All right, so some features that I added last night when I re-added my card, or my, uh, I added uh, my roommate's card because he lost it. Uh, first of all, now there's a little button here. So before it did not have this button, as well as that LED that turns on and off when it's locked, uh, that has been added as well. So now I'm going to tell you how this works. Basically, it runs a 12 volt line, or I, run, I ran a 12 volt line uh, from a little wall wart up to here. Now this 12 volt line is necessary because I can't run 5 volts, I think it was about 5 meters, uh, and just the reason behind that is it's, jeez, that thing is loud. Anyways, uh, it's just too much voltage drop. I could not power this HID reader. Uh, basically what it would do is if I could go ahead and strain this servo a little bit, or if I press this button a lot, you'll start to hear that voltage or that uh, card reader beeping just because it's low voltage so it's resetting itself. Uh, but anyways, this drops it down to 5 volts which comes through the USB. Uh, extra long USB, I don't know why I have that, and goes into this breadboard, and I'm probably going to finalize this circuit at some point if I ever add this to my house or something, but I don't know how secure it is, so whatever. Now, it doesn't just work on the inside. Uh, this is actually a wood panel about an inch thick, so if I go ahead and show you this. Oh, well, it's locked. Let's try to do this. This is really bad documenting. Now, if I go on the outside, been able to hear that locking and unlocking. There you go. So that is my door locker and unlocker. And if you got any questions, go ahead and post it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon. Goodbye.